good Friday morning, everyone. What a week we have had, isn't it? Man, I, for me, one of the best weeks we've ever had. It made me really, really think, and yet it was emotional. It is emotional also. Hosanna Wong really, as we often say, hit it out of the park with her spoken word ministry, which we showed her poem, for lack of a better word, on Monday. I surely hope you saw that. If not, please go back and view it. Then we looked at nine of the names God calls us, which would replace some of the things that the world says about us, that we say about us sometimes, that, oh, I'm, I'm too old, I'm too poor, I'm too whatever it is to be used of God. And guess what? Every one of those kind of names for us are lies. And so she mentioned nine, and we were encouraged to pick one of those, maybe more than one of those, that really described us, that, or that we want to cling to. We studied each one in depth this week. Friend, chosen, chosen of God, that we have masterpiece, that we are his masterpiece. Temple. We are the temple of the living God. He calls us mes his messenger. We're his messenger to the world. We're free. We're free in him. We're free indeed. We're brand new. If we have come to Christ, we are brand new in him and greatly loved. Greatly loved. And then we are child of God. The reason I do this show is to hopefully encourage you in your walk with God, or if you don't have that yet, that you would prayerfully consider becoming a follower of Christ, to have your sins forgiven, to have a future in heaven, and a purpose for living. All that can be yours. Just pray and ask, give your life to Jesus. And that's what Hosanna Wong was encouraging us to think through and choose. If we're a follower of Christ, one or more of these names. Now, when she finished that her spoken word on Monday, we cut it off. But her sermon went on from there. And in that sense, we're going to continue. I'm going to play the end of her sermon which is also so moving, and I encourage you, let it touch your heart. She says we should stand. Maybe we should stand, even in our homes, just to identify, but at least raise your hand to identify with these names. Now, before I t put that on, let me remind you, this is the, you know Friday, and at Saddleback Laguna Woods, if you don't have a church home, we would love... We're in the middle of a wonderful sermon series called At the Movies. And our pastor is digging out Bible truths from popular movies. And it helps us to see those and to be reminded, oh, it's, 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 so, it's a fun series. If you have a church, oh, man, I encourage you, go to that church. Study the Word of God. Be encouraged. It's there for you. Don't miss it. At Saddleback, right now, just for this four weeks, when you come in, we have a concession stand ready, and you get your popcorn and a free Regal movie ticket if it's your first time visiting with us. Hey, God bless. We're going to finish right now Hosanna Wong's sermon that she gave at Saddleback. Let it touch your heart with the names God is calling you. I came here today to tell you, I don't know what lies you have heard throughout your life, but you are more than you've been told. Before we leave today, I wanna to give you an opportunity to answer to your new name, your real name. You are all of these names, but I think there might be a specific name for you today to answer to, maybe a specific lie to speak truth to. 
I don't know what the new name is for you today, but before we close out this service, I'm going to name all nine of these names again. And when I call out the name that you wanna answer to, in that moment, I'm gonna ask wherever you are, anywhere in the world, watching online, wherever you are, I'm gonna ask that in that moment when you hear that name, that you stand to your feet symbolizing you answering to who you really are. And if you got to answer to a couple of new names, that's cool. You're gonna stay standing. And if you got to answer to a few names, you just raise your hand for the next ones. But you're gonna stay standing as your brothers and sisters around the world join you in standing up to their new names too. So that we can be people who say, we're gonna fight the most important fight of our lives. Fight for time with the one who knows us best. We're gonna know who we are. We're gonna live the lives we've been created to live and fight the battles we've been called to fight. So I'm gonna ask you to answer to your new name with me today. If you are here and you wanna answer to John 15, 15, he calls you his friend. Wherever you are right now, would you just stand up to your feet and stay standing? I see you, friend. I see you, friend. People all over the room are answering to friend. Stay standing, friends. Nice to meet you, friend. When you are God's friend, he's saying, you're not alone. You're not abandoned. I don't know who else left you, but your friend is your ride or die through thick and thin. God says, you are my friend. I'm in your corner. I'm on your team. Stay standing, friend. Who here needs to answer to chosen? First Thessalonians 1-4, he calls you chosen. I see you chosen. Nice to meet you, chosen. You are not here because someone else died or someone else was fired or someone made a mistake. You are who you are, where you are, because the creator of the universe thought it was important that you were here. Stay standing, chosen. I'm gonna call up masterpiece. Ephesians 2.10. Who here needs to stand? Raise your hand and say, I'm a masterpiece. God was intentional with my details. You are no knockoff brand. You are designer made. You are bougie. God thought it was important that you had every detail included in your life. Who here needs to stand and answer to 1 Corinthians 6, 19? He calls your body a temple. Can I see people stand and raise your hands and answer to temple wherever you are? I don't know what happened to you, who touched you, or what was said about you behind closed doors. But I know as a fellow temple, you have all the power and authority from the word of God to look in the mirror every day and say, man, I already look good today because the Holy Spirit lives inside of me. They can't take away what God has already put inside. Nice to meet you, temple, I see you. Wherever you are today, who here needs to answer to messenger? Acts 1-8, he calls you his messenger to the world, saying, I will share my story like someone else's story depends on it. I will answer to messenger, free indeed. Who here needs to stand and answer to free? John 8, 36, I am free from my old addictions. I am free from my old mentalities. I'm free from listening to lies. I am free indeed, brand new. 2 Corinthians, can we stand if you're saying, I am brand new. 2 Corinthians 5, 17, I am a new person with a new life and a new focus and a new purpose. I am brand new. Who here needs to stand and answer to Romans 5, 8? He calls you greatly loved. Greatly loved. Maybe your mom didn't love you the way she was supposed to love you. Your dad didn't love you the way he was supposed to love you. But God chose you before you chose him. You are already greatly loved by God. And finally, the last name that encapsulates all the names. If we don't get this one, of course, we don't understand how loved and free we are. Who here needs to stand and raise your hand to child of God? Galatians 3.26, he calls you his child. You're already loved without doing. You're already loved without working. You're already loved without producing. You are God's child. For some of us, in the room and online, wherever you are in the world, we want to reclaim our childhood. We want to reclaim our relationship with God, fighting for our lives by fighting for time to spend with God, the one who knows us the best. It's time for a fresh breath, family. It's time for a fresh fight. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you right now, wherever you are in the room, wherever you are in the world. If you would just bow your heads, I want to pray for you. God, you see us standing to our new names. We are tired of living lives that are less than what you created us to live. We're done listening to the lies. We're done being distracted. God, would you give us a fresh breath, a fresh lens, a fresh fight. We want to fight for time in our schedule to live the lives you've created us to live. In the name of Jesus and all God's people say, amen.